as you all know, Charlie Kirk has uh, recently gone full mask off. And then we thought he was mask off, but there was another mask that he removed. And then there was another mask that he removed. And basically, he's kind of devolving into Nick Fuentes' light. And the problem with that is that he has a lot of connections to the Republican Party establishment. And even though the standards are very low in the GOP, they don't want to openly associate with Nick Fuentes or someone like him. Trump did it, and there was actually backlash. Marjorie Green did it, and there was backlash even from people in the GOP. Like Lauren Boebert actually said, off the record, I believe, that it was stupid for her to do that. So as you become more extreme and more openly racist, you're going to kind of be a lightning rod, and Republicans are going to get criticism for associating with you. And they're just not going to want all the bullshit that comes with that. And you're going to kind of marginalize yourself. So I think that we're reaching that stage with uh, Charlie Kirk, right? Um, now, so some MSNBC clips here are going to point to Trump's association with Charlie Kirk, who is an open racist. And then he's going to def defend himself and say that he's not racist. The defense that he uses is typical, right? I think you already know what defense he'll invoke to prove that he's not racist but the way that he does it is just i mean the confidence on this man and the lack of self-awareness is astounding to me but let's start with rachel maddow so rachel maddow is going to talk about trump and this association with Charlie Kirk. So let's listen. Goes to this black church in Detroit and his campaign does not take any steps to avoid the pews being completely filled with white people, with white Trump supporters. Then on the day, the message of his supposed campaign is that he's trying to appeal to black voters, right? That's the whole point of doing this photo op. He then goes straight from that venue, stuffed with white people, uh, to a conference hosted by this guy who has been in the news for the last few months. Um, for saying, quote, we made a huge mistake when we passed the Civil Rights Act in the 1960s, saying that he thinks black people are not qualified to be airline pilots, that he worries if he's on a flight and sees that the pilot is black, who has been posting things like, quote, whiteness is great on social media, who has been hosting guests on his podcast to talk about how black people are inherently biologically inferior and incapable of advanced intelligence. Someone who said literally, MLK, meaning Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., quote, MLK was awful, not a good person. So on the day, your campaign message is, hey, black voters, look at me. Aren't I appealing? Going from the black, per black church that's inexplicably full of white people right to... <laughs> Right from there to go be with uh, to do, go do an appearance with the, the MLK was awful and the Civil Rights Act was a mistake guy. If that's how you're running your campaign, you are not trying very hard in normal campaign terms. But they are not trying very hard in normal campaign terms. They're trying. They're not trying very hard to compete on on, on normal political appeals. What they are trying to do instead is take power by menacing and chasing out of the country anyone who opposes their leader. Yeah. Now, there's uh, another MSNBC video. Um, talks about Trump partnering with a far-right group. Let's watch. Trump campaign is now working directly with a group whose leader has denounced Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and the Civil Rights Act of 1964. On Saturday, immediately after speaking at a black church in Detroit, Trump addressed the crowd at a convention organized by Turning Point USA. Earlier this month, that group's founder, a man named Charlie Kirk, announced that Turning Point was partnering with the Trump campaign on voter outreach. Kirk is one of the most popular far-right voices on the Internet and has made a number of racist statements over the years. Among them, attacking MLK as a bad guy, saying the Civil Rights Act was a mistake, and questioning the qualification of black pilots. At Saturday's event, another far-right influencer took the stage and unfurled a flag that read white boy summer and there's a white nationalist there jack vasoviak so you know white boy summer hmm you know when uh tom hanks's fail son says it it's like okay that's kind of cringe and stupid like what are you doing 
But when white nationalist Jack Vesobiec says it specifically at a right wing event hosted by a racist, then it's like, oh, that hits a lot differently. It's, you know, a bit different context than when um, Chet Hanks said it. I couldn't remember his name, but it came to me. Chet Hanks, Tom Hanks' son. Yeah. That phrase was initially coined by actor Tom Hanks' son in 2021. I just said that. Duh. Pay attention. Keep up. In reference to a song by rapper Megan the Stallion. It has since been adopted by white nationalists and neo Nazis, according to the anti. Of course it was. <laughs> Duh. By defamation league. Joining us now, Moynihan Public Scholar Fellow at the City College of New York, Christina Greer. Professor Greer, it's just exhausting. Um, uh, uh, one thing that I will say um, that bothers me about the commentary about Charlie Kirk from liberals on MSNBC is that they don't just say what's obvious. He's racist. Just call him a racist. Like, I, I think that, sure, you can argue that it's more effective for people who don't know Charlie Kirk to just prime them to understand that he's racist, because I think that's an obvious conclusion if you hear his remarks. But you're talking to liberal viewers who are watching this, so just say he's racist. It seems a little bit weird to me that they're... I guess tap, da- tap dancing around that. They're implying it. But, I mean, it's obvious. He is, he's pretty openly racist. Um, but, according to him, that is not true. He is not racist because he has a defense. Tonight, Maddow on MSNBC did an entire segment calling me a racist. Okay, well, I, I haven't seen the whole segment. But based on that clip that we saw where you were brought up, she did not call you a racist. Typical leftist smear. Liberals think that everything is racist nowadays. You can't even say that you distrust black pilots and think that the Civil Rights Act was a mistake without being called racist. God, so insufferable, liberals. You think everything is racist. Uh, Black Americans know better. They're waking up. Democrat propaganda isn't working anymore, and they're panicking. And then he posts a picture with black people. That's it. Case closed. He's not racist. Black people posed with uh, (laughs) with a photo. So it's impossible for him to be racist. Damn, damn, that's crazy. You know, I've posed for photos with family members that uh, are homophobic. I didn't know that I was erasing their homophobia <laughs> when I was when I was taking a fucking Christmas card. That's crazy. I didn't know it worked that way. Uh, but so the Midas Touch kind of like tracked down who these folks are, and uh, so it's a bunch of people from Blexit. Blexit is, I think, the organization that Candace Owens launched, which is an astroturfed campaign to like make it seem like black people are leaving the Democratic Party. Um, And I think that you can argue that, um, sure, black people are disillusioned with the Democratic Party, rightfully so. But the implication here is that they're leaving the Democratic Party and going to Republicans. Sure, there's that one poll that shows that Trump's at like 21 percent with uh, with uh, black voters. Um, we'll, we'll have to see, uh, because Trump is a racist. So I don't necessarily think that that's gonna, that's gonna turn out the way they think, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, this is just a bunch of blags of people, people in his orbit, right? So number one, uh, this person unidentified wore a blags event VIP badge. Uh, so there's MAGA Hulk, TPUSA contributor, another TPUSA contributor, there's a Blexit director, MAGA rapper. Oh, God, that, I, the fact that there are so many MAGA rappers. And when I say so many, I mean like six. But still, that's like way more MAGA rappers than we need. Uh, a Blexit speaker, Gothics. Uh, another Blexit speaker, a Blexit MC, Blexit co-founder, uh, Blexit MC. So it's just Blexit people. Like, these are people that either, as they say, work for TVUSA or an organization that you're affiliated with. So how ex- <laughs> how exactly does that prove anything? Can you imagine a CEO like saying something racist and then taking a picture with black employees and be like, look, black people took a picture with me. I'm not racist. Are we really doing this in 2024? We're still pretending like the black friend's defense is persuasive? I mean, maybe it's persuasive to Republicans because they're stupid, but... This is just extremely unserious. So, uh, yeah, apparently Charlie Kirk isn't racist, despite all the shit that he said, because uh, this photograph uh, exists. So, checkmate liberals. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. Bitches. Bitches.
woke moralist. Woke moralist. Woke moralist. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital way. region was exposed. I let her have her way.